using the Harvey Tunnel on the West Bank will need an alternative route starting today. A $53 million construction project will keep parts of the tunnel closed until April of next year. Josh Robertson has what you need to know. And we're right here at the mouth of the tunnel here behind me where crews are inside that tunnel right now working on those renovations, that construction project you mentioned. And, um, you know, the, this, the westbound lanes closed earlier today, joining the eastbound lanes, meaning that the entire tunnel is now completely off limits to drivers. And it's going to stay that way for several weeks, at least until just around Thanksgiving. Now, people who take the tunnel to work, They've noticed construction has been going on for almost a year here. The westbound lanes again closed earlier this morning to traffic. They're expected to stay that way until actually April of next year. The eastbound lanes heading towards New Orleans are currently shut down, but those are the ones expected to reopen around Thanksgiving, so not far from now. But DOTD officials say this rehabilitation project is going to cost around $50 million to replace the concrete, which a lot of it in the eastbound lanes have already been replaced, the tiles, the lighting fixtures, which have already been replaced, and also an update to the HVAC and the pumping system on this is uh, what is a 67-year-old tunnel. But State Representative Pat Connick says that the project is being partially paid for with money from the Crescent City Connection tolls and says that's why it's important to keep that money here in the West Bank. We paid above and beyond our taxes, our, our, our gas tax, and so give us back what we put in. This is going to be a showpiece for this area once this tunnel is, is finally completed. And again, we've seen crews going back and forth all morning long. We know on the other side of the tunnel uh, where the opening is, they've got uh, crews ripping up concrete currently. Uh, we can hear a lot of the uh, construction going on inside the tunnel as well. Again, a lot of crews going back and forth. As far as detours go over the next several weeks, uh, you should know, I mean, actually, I should say for the next several weeks, Partially, it'll be fully closed until about Thanksgiving, and then uh, the eastbound lanes are expected to open up then. Again, westbound lanes will be closed uh, for, for a lot longer, probably until around April of next year. But detours will be obviously Highway 90 above us, uh, the expressway you can take, and also uh, the, uh, the, the, the 4th Street Bridge as well. But for now, reporting here in Harvey, Josh Robertson, Fox 8, Local First.